Hello and welcome, Paul here. And this is Floris, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Now, I am looking to take as much territory as I can from Swadia and hopefully just wipe them out. I, I feel like Floris has gone on for a long time and, you know, we established the Ashen Empire, but in reality, what else is the angle you know what I mean we just need to win we just need to conquer everything and be done there's no point dragging this out which I kind of have been just a little so now we're just going we're gonna go on the offensive and I don't care what Lezolitz and Mafel do now if they're gonna complain about stuff well it's their own fault if they leave we will go to war and we will conquer back whatever they take simple as There'll be no mercy for traitors. But before we do anything else, let's make sure that Uxal... Whoa, what's this? It's like... We should fight the forest bandits. Because then it's... No, they all split up way too much. If they didn't split up, I'd have gone for like all of them. And everyone we rescue goes to my, like, army that's following me around, like, stocks them up. Now, I honestly god don't know what the other factions are doing. Like, Rodox, what are they doing? Where, where are they? You know what, this is reminding me of, uh... My war, my uh, warband series. I believe I conquered everywhere, but because the Rodox bugged out, they were nowhere left on the map. Maybe that's what's happened again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is we take all the castles. If the other factions want to continue to exist, they can. They are welcome to try and take back any lost land, but I don't think they will. But that's basically my victory condition at the moment. Capture everything. Also, why the hell are we trying to fight in this stupid map? All the crap this terrain. This terrain? Disastrous. Good old fairy spendits. Always good for a bit of fun. Like stabbing them, cutting them, stampeding them. Fighting on this hill sucks. Whose bright idea was this? Whoa! 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 Holy crap, I'm dying here. I am literally dying. All the archers, jeebus. Okay, we, I need to uh, reset this fight, I think. Yeah, I just wanna hear him clatter on my shield. <laughs> Jesus, oh my God. No, archers kill them, quick. Horse, faster, 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 go, go. Don't dawdle, don't delay. Holy crap, Batman. Are they safe? I don't know if I'm safe from them yet. Ah, 
That was ridiculous. It's almost like some super beam death cannon. Like it was that. That silly. I don't know how many people are left. So, we're okay. There we go. We'll let all these people go to my companions, to my Followers. You can see I got some pretty big armies following me around. Wow, we chased them pretty far. I feel like we may as well fight these guys. Get rescue as many prisoners as we can, just max out my army behind me. Then we just start hitting every single castle out there. That's the plan. Another stampede one, but I need just like flat terrain. More troops, more slave chiefs. through these guys pretty quick. I'm thinking that one castle that I always keep trying to get like uh, through pe uh, when when they want peace I might just go for that next because that's got like a thousand troops in and we're pretty strong as it is so may as well grind it out although I'm kind of worried about the quality of troops in that castle because I put in a lot of troops. That was the castle we took I forget if that was the castle we had when I was helping the Nords or when Swadia first started but it was like we couldn't get a foothold anyway we were constantly losing so when I finally got that I just loaded it with troops and we've had it ever since. We've had it ever since. And we not killed him. Thank you. I was gonna say, what's the struggle? What's the problem? We're rescuing more people. I could probably recruit just under 100 troops if I wanted to. Oh, I should be recruiting Manhunters. I'll check next time. In fact, we'll buy Sunno. Let me go stock up. It makes the most sense. We're out of food as well, so I probably need to look at that. Do I 
and not have like a few hundred slave drivers anywhere. I should. I really wish this game had a search box. I don't need to buy any more food. I don't need to recruit anyone else. Not in Sun -O. Not unless I just like paying wages for the sake of paying wages. Like all bandits are okay as long as they don't. Get him! He's like, uh... Why don't you join me, mate? Join me. Surrender or join me. One of the op one of the one one of the two, and I'll holy crap! I've got two thousand troops. Nice. Very nice. No point hanging around and organizing troops. We're going to charge. Just because it's the opportune moment to do so. Phoenix Lord Dundush. What a name. What a name. the way beep beep okay there we go we're okay we're okay I'm tempted to organize all my slave chiefs into their own category just so I can have them follow me around and we charge all the time I wonder in reality, and as grim as this fort is, the amount of people like we're killing and stuff and fighting on the battlefield. If this game had like a wound, a wound, a wound system, I know it does, but I mean in the sense that, because in reality some of these, crap, I took him prisoner. Some of these strikes wouldn't actually kill. Okay, they'd probably really hurt, and I imagine a lot of people would die. But like, you know, immediately they wouldn't succumb to their wounds. They'd just be like wounded, like on the floor, missing a chunk from their face or something like that. But my point would be is that all these big battles I partake in, how many wounded people would there be across the battlefield? They're just like writhing in pain and so on. God, imagine if games had that and you just walk, I know some do, but like you walk around and you just see bodies just like screaming out like in real agony and it's like oh maybe I shouldn't be fighting all the time it's not good okay this is a way more troops than I expected it to I haven't sieged this for a while so we're gonna give it a go and we're gonna see what kind of layout it is let's have a look holy cow Where the ladders? Oh my god. I definitely haven't seen this for a while. I don't recall ever sieging this place. Well, let's get close and have a look. I wish I could have my horse. I'd just ride straight across.
You know what, everyone just charge. I have no clue where I'm going. I really want to try that side door, but... Shot for that little window, are you serious? Oh crap. Go, go, go. Spread out for God's sake. Screaming. Make it stop. Oh my god. Please, why? So what is the layout of this place? Holy crap, these are some big castles, man. So if we can capture like that initial, pl oh my God, there's 1500 troops we're gonna get through. But yeah, the goal would be is we get on the battlements. Half of these castles are so unbalanced in terms of the size, it's ridiculous. Anyway, we get on the battlements, have my archers there, they can fire down on the enemies, they get close. Hell, I really could have had cavalry. We could have had a full cavalry charge around this courtyard, because this courtyard is a ridiculous size. Anyway, what I'm hoping is that... Oh my god, the enemy's all mercenaries, aren't they? Crap, I forgot about that. Oh well, let's see how this goes. We're gonna fight, 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 and fight our way through. If any luck, we'll win. I mean, either way, we outnumber the enemy. And... I want to say due to my quality of troops, maybe we'll outnumber them, but like... They have some serious troops as well. I mean, this is a castle I fortified myself. In the early days when I was desperate to fortify, so... You know. quantity and quality at the work here. Anywho, because my troops have a long way to come in, it's kind of ridiculous. I might need to reset it and have my guys get up on the, the edge, unless I order all my troops to attack, I don't know. But uh, that's it for now, thank you for watching, should have join me again next time.